Okay, there, you're on. I think he's blowing bubbles. You have to say hello. Say hi. Nikki, say hi. What are we gonna make today? I don't know. Oh I really God. don't know. Okay. I'll do like this. Hi! Happy Tuesday! What? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's gonna be your arms. Okay. Happy Tuesday! How is everybody? All right, what I really wanna know is. Ow! Who's been thinking that it's Monday all day today? <laughs> this girl right here. I've been thinking that it's Monday all day today. I've been thinking that tomorrow is Tuesday. And I'm already like a day behind because everything has been like a day behind, right? Because I felt like all day yesterday, I felt like it was Sunday. And now I feel like it's a Monday night and we're going to have Tuesdays tomorrow. But okay, I'm all confused. By the time we get to Friday, I'm going to think it's next week already. I don't know what's going on. Okay, anywho, here's the thing. We are going to make a Snickers shake, a Snickers shake. Hey, Nick, you want to read the comments because I can't reach, I can't see them right now. I can't see them from over here. Can you see them? No. Okay. Nikki's really helpful. But go around that way, okay, hon? We're going to make a Snickers Keto shake No, today. we can All right, good, fine. We're good. This is what we're going to need. And here's the thing. I decided to make a Snickers shake at the very last second. So there's a couple of ingredients that aren't that are, we're substituting, okay? We're winging it is what we're doing. We're winging it, but you could totally wing it. I mean, don't get all excitable. <laughs> like, that looks good. Come here, show them. Don't get excitable if you are missing an ingredient or you have to substitute this for that. It's your shake. It's still gonna be keto, whether you use almond milk or coconut milk or heavy whipping cream or like a little bit of half and half. It's still going to be keto. It's still gonna fit in under the keto guidelines. And like Stephanie Milky always says, don't mess up good for perfect. So with that being said, let's make the shake. Let's make the shake. But I just wanted to go over the ingredients. The ingredients for this Snickers Keto Shake call for almond milk, but we are going to use heavy whipping cream right now, which is delicious and it's keto friendly. And these kids are eating it. They're drinking it. So it's going to be amaze balls. Oh, and one other thing I'm substituting for. Okay. I literally in my house have, literally have a gazillion different flavors of like extract here. So like I have cinnamon, I have coconut, I have maple, I have, I have banana, I have pineapple, I have peppermint, I have, you name it, I have it. Except for the one ingredient that we needed for the Snickers shake, which was caramel extract, caramel extract. So here's the thing, we are gonna use, I know, Nikki likes caramel. So it's a Snickers shake, let's just pretend that this is caramel extract, okay? This is caramel extract, we're gonna pretend that our liquid is almond milk, doesn't matter, it's still keto friendly and it's still gonna be super delicious. So here's the deal, what are we gonna do first? Okay, come here, you guys are gonna do this. All right, Gia, so it's one cup of almond milk, hey Nick. It's one cup of almond milk. Oh, whipping cream. Now I got a friend. Oh, what did I do? I didn't bring the. Okay, one cup of almond milk. What did I do with my? Oh, it's in the refrigerator. That's where it goes. One cup of almond milk. Okay. Heavy Good. whipping cream. Okay, it's heavy whipping cream on our end, but the recipe calls for one cup of almond milk. It's still keto friendly, so it doesn't even matter, right? Okay. Then we need. One scoop of the chocolate protons. Chocolate, oop, don't let it spill, okay? One scoop of the chocolate protons. It's actually white. It's white powder, but it's chocolate, okay? I promise you it's chocolate and it's amazing, okay? The chocolate protons is our protein powder that's infused with ketones and MCT oil. So it's like a three for, it's a three for one, right? It's amazing. I just worked out like a little bit ago. Nikki's about to go work out. So this is like amazing post-workout. This is what I typically do post-workout. And I know it's like, it's like 7.13 here in Chicago. I don't know what time it is by you guys, but 7.13 here. Okay, what else? What is next? So we get the protons. We have our liquid. Unseen. No, no, no. Oh, oh, you know what? Yeah. The peanut butter, right. Okay. I forgot to get it out. Peanut butter is right here. Okay. Unsweetened. This is unsweetened. Yes. Yeah. Okay. This is true nut peanut protein powder, but you can use unsweetened. Should we use regular peanut butter or should we use the powdered peanut butter? Um, we can use this. How much does it call for? Um, how much did it call for? One 
teaspoon. Which oh, it's just one like? teaspoon. It's just one teaspoon. No, 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 this is gonna be fine. We can, you can use regular peanut butter or you can use the powdered stuff. Um, that's a tablespoon, but that's fine. Oh, you know what, you wanna be fancy here? This, we are fancy tonight. We have actual teaspoons, right? Okay, so find your, find your teaspoon. Find your teaspoon, let's open this sucker up. So this is gonna taste like a Snicker. This is gonna taste like a Snickers bar without all the sugar. It's not gonna mess with your blood sugar. It's gonna be super duper keto friendly. Absolutely delicious. This is what you should be drinking post workout. Or you can have this like as a little meal, right? This is delicious. Okay, there you go. So one teaspoon of the peanut, like no sugar peanut butter. So it's no sugar peanut butter or no sugar peanut butter powder. Okay, what else? One tablespoon of almonds. One, okay, so one tablespoon of almonds, like real true blue almonds. There's the almonds that I have. I always have like nuts on hand because nuts are a good healthy fat. Super keto friendly. Just don't like eat like a bag of this size, right? But they're oh. super keto friendly. Just make sure that you're not you getting- a tablespoon instead of a teaspoon. That's all right, it's okay, it's our shake. I'm gonna post the whole recipe below. And actually, somebody posted this and that's where I got it from. So I'm probably just gonna repost what they posted and this is gonna be delicious, okay? It calls for a tablespoon, a table, or a teaspoon. It calls for a tablespoon of red, fresh almonds and I have slivered almonds. I'm gonna show you guys. These are California sliced almonds, right? Fancy. So I always get raw nuts, get raw nuts. You don't want the roasted and the salted. You want raw nuts. Those are the healthiest for you. Okay, what's next? I don't like chocolate. Lily's chocolate chips, okay. On keto, if you're going to do chocolate, Lily's are the chocolate chip of choice because they are sweetened with stevia. Again, doesn't mess with your blood sugar. Again, they're amazing balls, right? They're super duper delicious. Lily's chocolate chips are the chocolate chips of choice, okay? I always have them here because I always, oh, there's like a, a bug. I always am making keto friendly chocolate chip cookies for my kids and they're so good. But you can throw them in anything, like the mint chocolate chip, shake that we made not too long ago, it was so good. So we put the Lily's chocolate chips in there and it had like, it was so delicious, right? You could put a little extra, you could, you could do so many things with the Lily's chocolate chips. But I'm gonna tell you something, don't get them on Amazon and I'm not knocking Amazon, love, I'm an Amazon lover. But you know, I actually find the Lily's chocolate chips, you know, I had that, I explained that, right? She goes, we don't have caramel. I explained that all the way in the beginning. So we don't have caramel, but we're gonna substitute with maple for the caramel. I know it's not the same, but I just, I didn't, I didn't prepare. This was like a last minute decision. So it's all right, we're gonna just wing it, right? We're winging it. So do, let's pretend it's caramel and we're gonna do, how much? One, one teaspoon, one teaspoon of caramel extract, okay? Back to the Lily's chocolate chips. My tip of the day, and I've said this before, maple. My tip of the day, and I've said this before, is over at Whole Foods, even though I don't shop at Whole Foods for groceries because I would be broke and I wouldn't be able to afford my electricity, right? I go there for certain select things, okay? And the, and Lily's chocolate chips at Whole Foods seem to be the least expensive. However, if you shop sales like I do, because I'm a coupon clipper and I'm totally a sales mom, either at Jewel, which is right down the street from my house, they often have Lily's chocolate chips on sale or Whole Foods does. Amazon for some reason is always the most expensive. So I don't understand potato, potato, whatever. I wish they had an Aldi, right? I wish they had them at Walmart, but they don't. But that's a tip for Walmart. I'm gonna put that in the tip jar, right? Wait, do we have everything, all the ingredients in there? So we have ice. We have almond milk, which happens to be heavy whipping cream tonight, but it's almond milk. Um, we have one scoop of the protones right here. So you've got MCT oil, you have protein powder, and you have ketones, most importantly, ketones right here. Um, we have fresh almonds, we have Lily's chocolate chips, we have caramel extract, and unsweetened peanut butter. We're good to go, let's blend it up. Gee, let's blend it up. What are you looking for? We, I couldn't find my fancy straw, but I found some other fancy straws. But not my fancy, fancy straw that I typically use. What do you wanna do? Yeah, you wanna help her blend? Sure, I'm gonna see if there's any comments on here. Is this tightened enough? Oh, let me see. Okay, we gotta make sure it's super duper tight, otherwise it ooh, explodes. Yeah, this is good. What are you doing? Oh, no. This is a 10 year old for you. 
right? And this is like a curious 10 year old. Can you, you put every spoon room? in here. No, I'll blend it for you. Okay. Let's do this.